Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Brie. In today's video, I am coming at you from my living room. I decided to jump out of my regular filming space and come into the living room. It just makes me feel a little bit more cozy and comfy. So that is where I am filming from today. Today I have a really special video for you guys. It's another ColourPop one, which you know that ColourPop videos are my absolute favorite videos to film. ColourPop just makes some really amazing products. So definitely, definitely check out ColourPop if you are looking for affordable makeup. They recently just launched their new Pretty Fresh collection, which is a hyaluronic acid based line. They came out with a tinted moisturizer, a primer, and a setting spray. And they also just released this brand new makeup sponge. It's so cute and little. I like on the website, I thought it was going to be bigger than this, but it is literally so tiny. And I also, while I was on the ColourPop website, picked up the So Jaded Kathleen Lights palette, which just looks absolutely freaking stunning. I cannot wait to play with this palette and create a lot of different cool, fun looks. And then I also picked up the Four Spray Beauty Glisten Up Mist. Fourth Ray Beauty is ColourPop sister brand. They have like skincare products and I'm really interested in trying this out. I know Kathleen Lights raves about this. So I'm really excited to put these two mists to the, to the test. I'll try one on each side of my face. So if you guys are interested in seeing me test out and try all of these products, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to first start off by priming the skin with the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. I'm super excited that ColourPop came out with a hyaluronic acid based line. Hyaluronic acid is really supposed to plump and hydrate the skin. It's got a lot of other good benefits to it as well. Ooh, and it smells so amazing. What does this smell like? I'm not sure what it smells like. It just smells so like clean and fresh. And it just feels like a really nice moisturizer going on. And as you're rubbing it on the skin, it does get a little bit tacky, which I honestly like in a primer because it makes all the other makeup products that you're going to be putting on your face stick and last a lot longer. I'm going to let that sink into the skin for a second and while that's sinking in I'm going to go and wet my sponge and see if this grows any larger. Oh my gosh, it's a grower not a shower you guys. It actually did get really really big. I'm actually shocked about how big this ended up getting. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I got the shade Fair 4N. Hopefully this is a good shade match for me. Yeah, it looks like it might. Uh, the undertone might be a little bit warm for me, but we'll make it work. And I honestly love the color of this sponge. It's so like peachy pink and all of this packaging is like the same color. It's actually so cute. looking really really nice on the skin it's just looking so like luminous and dewy it's looking really pretty I wonder if this will build up at all I'm going to do a second layer here I think it did build up quite a bit. That built up actually nicely. It's not too full coverage, but that's just because this is a tinted moisturizer. This isn't an actual foundation. I'm going to keep 
trying this out just to see, but so far this nice luminous dewiness that it's giving me is really, really nice. So I'm quickly just going to put on some ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 8. I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes just to give me a little bit of coverage for my under eye bags. Now I'm just going to set my face with the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I'm going to mostly concentrate this on my under eyes and like my cheek area just because I'm going to be applying powder, um, bronzer, blush, and highlight. I don't really want the those products to skip on my cheeks. But I still want to keep some of that luminosity because I'm really liking it right now. I'm also going to set my nose and my T-zone up here. Just because that's where I get the most oily. Alright, so now that I've got that on, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop face palette that I made. I'm going to dip into this bronzer that I have by them in Private Party. It's a nice kind of matte bronzer, but yet it has just a little bit of shimmer into in it, but nothing like too crazy. going to jump into this blush right here. This is in I Need Space. It's just a nice mauve pink color. I'm going to dip into the highlight in this palette called Dreamscape. I'm going to quickly do my brows with the Essence Make Me Brow in Blondie Brows. I'm just gonna run this through my brows really quickly. Okay, and now I'm going to test out the two sprays that I have. So I'm going to do the Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist on this side of my face. Oh man, that mister, oh, look at that. Oh my god! Oh, and it smells heavenly too. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I could literally bathe myself in that. That is so nice. I don't know what this smells like, but if you guys have this, and you know what it smells like, please comment down below and tell me because I, it smells like something so familiar. All right, now we're going to try the Fourth Ray Beauty Glisten Up Mist on this side. Oh, yeah, that's, it's got an intense mister on it. Not as good as this one, I can already tell you that much. But this Glisten Up Mist smells like straight up oranges, which I'm not mad at. Oh, yeah, this one's definitely more intense. I'm not a big fan of the mister on this one. Okay, and now I'm so excited. I'm going to do a really, really quick eye look with this just because I don't want to go too glam and intense with it because I do have more subtle makeup on today. I'm just going to kind of point to some shades and put them on my eyes, okay? Oh my God. My foot is asleep right now. Oh my gosh, ow. Pins and needles, pins and needles, pins and needles. Oh, ow. Beauty is pain.
Okay, so this is how the look turned out. It's really like smoky and grungy and it kind of got out of control. Um, I went a lot darker with my makeup than I was expecting and a lot heavier with it. All the colors that I used in this palette were super, super good quality. By far, my favorite shade in this palette is this diamond one so far because it is that super shock formula. So it's a very like, creamy metallic eyeshadow, which I absolutely love. So I can't wait to keep playing with this palette, but, but I actually really like the eye look that I came out with today. All right, so now I'm going to just put on some mascara. I'm going to put on the number seven Stay Perfect Long Lasting Mascara. Okay, and to kind of stick with the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop theme, I'm going to quickly apply her What's Your Sign lipstick. And now I'm going to apply the Moonchild lip gloss over top. This is also her collab with ColourPop. Okay, you guys, and this is the final look. I honestly don't dislike anything that I used. Everything that I used today was great. Um, I will have to keep kind of testing out and playing with these products. I do wanna test this out some more just to see how long lasting it is. If this is really long lasting, this might be a contender for my favorite tinted moisturizer. This is actually really nice, really dewy, makes my skin look super healthy. The Hyaluronic Acid Primer, I'm not sure about it yet. I'm going to still keep on testing this out. I'm honestly on the fence on if primers even work. It did feel really nice and hydrating on the skin, so if nothing else, I'll use it as a moisturizer. And then these two sprays are really nice as well. I do like the mister on this one a little bit better, but I do like the scent on this one a little bit more than this one. So they both have their pros and cons, but I'm going to still keep on testing these out. And then of course the So Jaded palette is really, really nice. I'm definitely, definitely going to be playing with this and doing more eyeshadow looks with this palette. It's so beautiful and phenomenal and I'm so glad that Kathleen Lights made this with ColourPop, it's so beautiful. And the sponge was really nice actually. It performed very beautifully. It actually felt a lot like the Real Technique sponge. So you might not want to pick this up if you already have the Real Technique sponge because it's essentially the same thing. But it is very soft, very nice to use, and it is only six bucks. So if you're looking for a good sponge to use, this is definitely one to, to pick up and try. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.